complete day 19 of West Boss's JavaScript 30 and it's a real fun activity because you get to see my face and I'm going to take an image which is located from my webcam up here. Where is it at? There it is. And eventually when I hit this click or take photo button, we're going to be able to see an image down here and then download it to your computer. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is kill my server so it's not eating up all of my uh, my RAM while I'm also recording my screen. So, like I've done for most of these videos, the first step is to grab the DOM elements. I'm going to be using the canvas tag to paint a picture, the image from the webcam, so I need to create a context so that I could actually draw that picture. Once I've grabbed my DOM elements, we'll go down here to the bottom and I'm going to call one of my functions immediately, get video, so that will run your webcam. And then while the webcam is running, it's going to invoke this function paint to canvas. Let's first look at those two functions. So get video will get input from the webcam using navigator.mediadevices.usermedia, and that returns a promise. So I use dot then. After the promise is returned, it returns something called local media stream and I'm going to set the video content to the input from the webcam by accessing the video's source object and setting it to local media stream. Then I'm simply going to play the video. So once get video is playing, that will automatically invoke paint to canvas. So I'm going to grab the height and width from the video tag and set that height and width to the canvas. And now I want to actually create an image or paint an image to that canvas using the set interval function that's going to run every 16 milliseconds. So the first thing I need to do is draw the image onto the canvas with context. That's what I actually draw when you use a canvas tag and I'm going to provide it with the pertinent information. In this case, whatever it's getting fed from the video. And then these next few things is how I'm going to grayscale that image. I'm first going to grab the pixels from the image. Then I'm going to send those pixels to the grayscale function and grayscale function will alter the pixels. Once grayscale returns those altered uh, pixels, I'm going to add the altered pixels back to the context. Well, what does to grayscale do? Well, it's going to take that array of pixels, which is literally millions of elements long. And every four elements in that array represent the RGBA values. So I'm using a for loop that's going to loop over four elements at a time. Now to grayscale, you take the average of the RGB and then replace the RGB values with that average. So I've accessed the RGB values here and averaged them and then supplied the red, the green, and the blue with whatever that average worked out to. So this is great. Now I have a grayscale image from my webcam paint it onto the canvas, but now I want to actually take a photo and then be able to save that photo onto my hard drive. So the first thing I need to do is return what's called a data URL of the image, and that is base64, which essentially is a text representation of an image or a file. So I'll say const data is equal to, and then there's a method inside canvas called um, to data URL. And that'll give me that base 64 information that I need. And I'm going to do a little bit of configuration because it defaults to PNG, but this isn't a PNG image I need to save. So I'll say JPEG. And then now to actually um, add this image to the DOM, we're going to first create an anchor tag. So I'll say const link is equal to documents dot create elements. And we're going to create an anchor tag. And I want to set the href of that anchor tag to that base64 URL that we got. So I'll say link.href is equal to data. And then now I want the user to be able to download the image onto their hard drive. So you do that by adding a download attribute, which is a unique attribute to the anchor tag. So I'll say link dot set attribute and that is a method so the first thing we'll say is download that's the name of the attribute and then you can sort of give it a, a preset file name so I'll just say nice smile for now 
then I want to set that anchor tag to be the image that we've painted onto the canvas. So I'll say link.innerHTML is equal to, we'll use backticks, backticks so we can interpolate a variable here and we'll say image. And the source of that image is going to, again, be that data, that uh, base64 URL. So we'll just say data. And you can provide whatever alt text you feel like. I'm just going to continue with nice smile. We'll close that image tag. And then now I need to prepend that anchor tag to the DOM. So I'm going to take, um, what's its parent? Strip. That is the parent div that I'm going to add this link to. And then we'll say insert before. And I'll say link, because that's the element I want to prepend. And I'll say strip and make it the first child. Cool, so barring any mistakes, this should be all set to go. I'm going to start my server again. This should open up my browser automatically. There we go. Oh, let's close this other one here. That might actually mess with my camera. No, we're back, cool. So you see my image, which is grayscaled. If I take a photo, we can see my image has been added or prepended to its parent element. And if you click on it, since it is an anchor tag, just give it a second. Now it's going to download and I've given it that automatic, I don't know, file name. So we can click save. And I've taken an image from my webcam, smiled, and then saved it to my hard drive. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow.